welcome back guys so in this video I will talk about what is object and what are the properties and behavior object has so if you will try to recollect in my very first video I was talking about what is class and how the object has been derived from the class so when I say object object means anything which exists in the real world we call it as a object right so when exists in the real world which means it has a state it has a behavior and it has an identity so when i say ram which means ram exists when i say mohan mohan exists when i say cow cow exists so when something exists definitely it has a state and it has a behavior and it has an identity right so that's what is object is all about so if you look at here my definitions which i have written here object corresponding to things found in the real world right now an object consists of a state when i say state means it represents by attribute of an object it also reflects the properties of, of an object so a state means what is the properties so when i say human being human being a uh, wing means it can walk so i'm sorry the properties can be height weight right uh, color right so these are the properties when i say again animal animal has properties again like it has breed it has color it has height it has category so these are all consist of the properties like what properties you have now object also has behavior right so the behaviors means what are the actions object can perform we call it as behavior so when i say behavior means i human being can eat walk run sleep comes with the animal same thing walk run eat sleep this is the behavior of the object right whereas identity when i will talk about identity identity means it is the unique name which is given to each object through which it can communicate to other object right so every object will have the identity identity means when you create object in the java every object will have the unique name you cannot create a duplicate object in the java which i will show you probably in the eclipse where you can create one name with one object right so what we understood here every object will have the property uh, will have the properties will have the behavior and will have the identity the state is nothing but properties behaviors means what are the behavior he can perform and identity like how he is known by example cow dog apple ram these are all object now try to understand with the diagram when i say identity identity means what is the name of the dog let's say just talk about the dog dog is an object because it comes from the animal class right so it is the object of class animal which means it has identity it has a name like what name any name which you give to your dog now what is the state and attribute like what is the properties it has a breed it has age it has color these three things it has the a state and attributes now what is the behavior the behaviors means it can bark sleep eat and run so these are the behavior so here whatever behavior you are seeing that which is nothing but the method of the object in java we call it as a method so whatever object behavior has which is nothing but the method of an object now if you look at this uh, notes if we make five object of same class each object will have one copy of attribute and behavior very important point so when you are going to five object of the same class so if i am going to make the five object of human being which is nothing but ram shyam mohan deepak manoj five object every object will have one copy of properties and behavior like every object can every object has a height color age breed every object can walk eat sleep run right so it has one copy of property and one copy of behavior right 
so if you create 10 object out of one class every object will have different properties different behavior now we will try to understand with one of the pictorial diagram here just let me reduce the font little bit yeah so this is very good uh, diagram where if you look at class is the human being here right now what is object here ram syam mohan this three is the object ram syam mohan which is nothing but object now what is the variable and attribute so the variable is color height two legs two hands this is the properties it has a color it has a height again Siam also has same thing color height legs hands again Mohan has the same attributes or variables or properties now what is the behavior behavior slash methods behavior is nothing but method in Java it can run sleep walk and eat so all three object can run sleep walk and eat so this is nothing but the method so in general term we call it as behavior but in, te in terms of java we call it as a method so whatever behavior object has we call it as a method right and whatever variables java has i mean whatever variable class has we call it as attributes in terms of java so now i believe that you are crystal clear with what is class what is object and what is method now let me do one thing let me just show you with one of the examples so again this is the same thing where you have a class you have the object and you have a state attributes and behavior now just try to understand with the example where what are the components a class has so if you look at here which probably i will show you in the eclipse also a class has package name as i said the package name is nothing but the identifier with which you can identify group of class so let's say you have a hundred class right and you don't want to keep in the same package so what you will do you will make a different different package the package is nothing but folder which will exist in your local system so whenever you create any package that package you can see in your local system in your workspace right so in any class when you design a class always the first things will be the package of the class the package is nothing but the locations where your class exists right now the second thing the class has modifier which is nothing but public access modifier then class has the class name example one which is a capital letter now what is that int age so till now i was talking about this attributes and properties remember if you try to recollect the variables and attributes right which is nothing but properties so in class we can create properties like this int age so for now i have used int age which means what is the age of that particular person let's say so in java we create variable like this int age so age is just a name but what is the type type is the integer like age will always come with the integer right age cannot be 36.5 i mean it can be but as a naming conventions we use integer for the age right now method whatever i was talking about the method is nothing but the behavior if you look at here i was talking about the behavior which is nothing but method so the method also if you look at here the method first line which is nothing but access to the method it is a public which means this method can be accessed from the outside of the class like other class can also access this method and what is the integer int so this int is the return type of the method the return type means whenever you have a method whenever you are doing something definitely you get some outcome right in java that outcome is hold by the return type so when i say get age get age means it will give me the age now where that age i am going to hold i am going to hold that age in the return type the return type will give me what is the age of that person. So in Java, the return type actually every method will have the return type. Without return type, you cannot write any Java method, right? Probably this is not the uh, right chapter where I can discuss more, but we have more details going forward. And then method name. So get age. If you look at here, get age the method name, 
right which is nothing but uh, the method name so method name always start with the small letter but the class name always start with the capital letter right so if you look at the example one which which was started with the capital letter whereas the get is the method name which is started with the small letter after the method name there is a this if you look at that bracket right open bracket close bracket so always method will have the bracket which is which is actually uh, through which you can supply the data to your method right and also method will have open curly braces close curly braces which is nothing but the body of the method like when you have that open curly braces and close curly braces within that you can write the method algorithm like how your method is going to perform you can write that logic inside right similarly there is another method where the first is the access of the method which is nothing but public the return type of the method is nothing but void here so in java when you say the return type is a void which means your method is not going to return anything like you are going to do the task but you will not you are not expecting for any outcome which is nothing but void but as a convention we have to write a return type so that java has provided a return type called void so whenever you don't want to return anything you can just write void right set name so in the set name again the method name which uh, here if you look at the, within the parenthesis i am passing the int age so here i can set the age right and again age i am keeping the same type integer so this name i can set that to some variable right again open curly braces close curly braces so where this age i am going to set so this whenever i will call this method whenever i am i am calling the set method so with the name itself you can make out i am going to set the age of a person right so where where i will set that there should be some placeholder in java right the placeholder in java we call it as a variables the variables is the one which holds your data so here the int age whatever you are seeing that here the int age which is nothing but the placeholder where you can hold the data of your method so the same thing i am doing here this dot age is equal to age why this dot age right uh, okay i'll give you the short definition here later we'll have a big chapter so whenever your class variable which is nothing but int age which is nothing but class variable right whenever your class variable and your method argument int age if it has the same name so whenever your class variable and the method has the same name to differentiate we use this keyword for the class variable so when i say this dot age which means i am referring to the class variable int age this guy this dot age is equal to age which means i am referring to the method variable so whenever your method variable and the class variable has the same name just to differentiate we use this keyword for the class variable just to differentiate now what this java has what is this another method you have a public you have a static void main and this string of argument so again the public is nothing but access to the method what is a static right so let's i'll give you some glimpse of what is a static so in java there is always two kind of method one is a static one is non non static what is a static what is non static we'll have a separate chapter since here i'm trying to just make you understand what is class and what are the things class has so here just try to digest right always main method comes with the static this is the main method in the java if you look at the name here main m a i n right so in java always the main method comes with the static and always it comes with the access called public and always return type is the void so in java when you talk about the main method it has always the return type of the void which means in your java main method will not return anything and in your java always your main method argument is a string of array right array means it can hold multiple data so in your java always 
your main method is a string of array and again this main method also has the same thing open curly braces and close curly braces right open and this guy close curly braces this is the main method now in the main method if you look at the first line example one new example one what does mean by that which means when I write new and again the class name which means I am going to create the object of that class right so when I say example one obj one is equal to new example new example one parenthesis semicolon which means object for this class is created now once the object of this class is created we can call the method of an object we can call the method of an object how to call the method of an object on this reference obj one I can call dot set age which is nothing but here so on this object I can call obj1 dot set age 4 right the first set age method and I can call obj dot get age which is nothing but I am going to get the age similarly I can create one more object example 2 obj2 is equal to sorry example 1 obj2 is equal to new example 1 so this I was talking about when you create a five object your five object will have the different object name here again i cannot write example one obj1 i cannot write that because obj1 i have written here so here i cannot write obj1 i cannot give the same name to the object right though i am using the same class but my object name will be different so here it will be object 2 new example 1 and then i have to call here so instead of there is a typo mistake here I have to write object 2 dot set age and object 2 dot get age. So basically we have created different object here and from that object we are setting the age and we are getting the age right. So that's how the communications happens the class object and method and that's how we can make the object of the class and we can access the method of the class so probably this i will show you in the eclipse so that you will understand better and i'm sure you might have some confusion regarding how to create the object how to create the class how to create the method how to call the method but believe me if you just follow with me you just do the practice whatever i'm talking about and i'm very much sure you'll understand each and every concepts going forward thank you guys thank you for watching this